everyone. What a little surprise, right? Let me um, pull it up here so I can see the comments and I want to make sure I'm at the right place. Number one. So let me... Let me check this here. This is out of the blue because I had said tomorrow night I'm not uh, live to create on the fly because it's Thanksgiving. So I said maybe, let me see. This is out of the blue because I had... Here we go. It's right. Yes, I had said maybe I would go live uh, this week to... Um, oops. Let's come back here. Here we go. I see some people. I said that I would maybe come live this week because tomorrow night I'm not uh, live to create on the fly. So it's a little bit of create on the fly also. Today I get more prep though. But one thing before we get started, I want to make sure that you all know that yesterday we had our 24-hour sale and we had some uh, major problem early in the morning till mid-morning uh, mid that... Um, the system didn't uh, jive together put it that way so um because of all the problem with it department we had stepping up was sweet enough to extend the deal for all day today so it's still going on and what is on sale it's pretty much all of the annual catalog not from the holiday catalog it's nothing from the holiday catalog it's from the annual catalog and I don't even see if, hmm, my froze. No, I think it's there. Yeah, from the, oh, you don't see because I'm on the wrong side. One minute. I'm putting stuff at you and silly me. One second. I'm like, why I don't see that? Here we go. Hello. Um, so it is from the Hanwell catalog. It's, um. It's 800 some product all that, almost 900 I think, and it's only 72 that it's not on sale. So it's pretty much the old catalog at 10%. If you want to see the list that it's not part of the, the sale, go to frenchystamps.com. At the top I get the 24-7 uh, sale, 24-hour uh, sale I mean, or you can scroll the post of yesterday. You can go at frenchystamps.com. And it's there. That will be done tonight, 11.59 Mountain Time. So 10%, it's like the free shipping, right? Because 10%. But the sweet part about this is uh, bundles are already discounted at 10%, but you get another 10% on top of the bundle. It's a few that are uh, not orderable because we reached the max of the back order, whatever. It's not that many, though. So if you want to take advantage of this special, this and tonight. I am using one of the bundles today. I'm using Blossom and Bloom. This is on page 51 of the annual catalog. And yes, it is at 10%. Also, I'm using the Stamparatus. And yes, that also is at 10%. So I'm doing two for one. I don't know if you saw in the subject, but I call it two for one. Uh, I got it all here. We're going to see if it comes in uh, on paper, right? So let me flip you down and we're going to get started. So um, what I got over here, it is, I got a little piece of paper there. Okay, this piece of Whisper White here, it measure 8 inch long by 5 and 1 quarter. So again, it's eight inch long by five and one quarter i started cutting at four and at four there because that's going to be our two front of the car with that being said uh, to be both of them that's why i put the line because i want to align that in the center so then i can do two cards with one because it's a big stamp set i'm going to put that on the stamparatus right here and then I get a bit of glare there. I'm using the stamp set and 
I keep this in my case, okay? So I get two, and why do I keep two of them? And really, those two would go lovely together, don't you think? Um, Knight of Navy and um, Daffodil, it's quite a great combo together. Well, it don't go there, it go here. So, and the reason why I keep that, you're going to understand in a minute, see how pretty that is? That's Daffodil Delight and Knight of Navy. Today, we're going to use different color. And the reason why I want to know where how to stamp this, so I'm going to put this here because I could have put it this way or whatever. So this way, I know how the layer going to go. So I want to split that in between these two. So I'm going to put that... Mm -hmm. I want enough on both of the cards, okay? So it's going to be split in two. You know what? I'm going to put up and down like this. This is going to get chopped right in the middle, okay? So I want to make sure I get part of the flowers there and part of the flowers there. So now that I decide where I want it, and that's why I started cutting at the bottom so I know where my center is. We're going to close this. And when I stamp with my Stamparatus, I like to put a stamp case right here on the side. So then when I put my uh, plate, it stay flat here. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Now, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. I don't have a clue what the color is going to look because I'm using Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Cherry Cobbler. Yes, all that together. So let me do this here. We're going to stamp this. And because it's a big stamp, I want to make sure I get a good impression. Oh, see? So now you're going to see what I do usually. It's stand up, put the pressure here. Here we go. Okay, that, that's okay because I'm going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and use um, pumpkin pie, and my pumpkin pie, I'm using um, sponge, and I'm going to go right in the center here, just in the center of the flower. I'm going, I want the center more dark. I know we're going to have, oops, that was not a center, that's okay. Um, we're going to have the layer on top of that, but I think it's still going to show. So let me add my... Um, pumpkin pie on top of this okay now I got this I'm gonna keep that make sure it's in the corner and I'm gonna press that here lift it up okay I think I didn't have ink there so just to make sure I don't have no more uh, pumpkin pie I just gonna wipe this gentle here so uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's going to be uh, better. What I mean by better, it's going to, I won't mix my yellow and or um, pumpkin pie on my ink pad. I'm sliding my, uh, usually with, let me think here, photopolymer, usually we use, where is it? One second, it's someplace here. Here we go. Usually we use the phone and I didn't have that. So that's why it make a difference. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to use the phone and now let me add and I didn't do the whole thing because really it's just there. Et voila. Simple. Okay. So that part is done. I am not doing the leaves. The leaf's going to stay uh, blank for now. I'm looking for uh, right here. I'm just going to wipe that before I remove this. Okay. Let's remove this. And... Now we're going to build. So what i done here, I die cut already uh, the basic black 
and then the cherry cobbler. I'm gonna bring my foam brush. I still have my old one on top of this here. I'm gonna put this at the top. Well, this is already out. And I'm just gonna, here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna, oh, we wanna use this one first though. So, want to make sure maybe to try to stay on the cardstock so you don't touch the glue there. Now let me take this. We want to be out before we split the card in two and I see I didn't cut all the way there. We're going to figure that puppy out. See right here? I didn't cut right there. So we will use, I want my snip. Hmm up right here so i'm just guess estimate this here because i'm going to have something on top of it so i'm not worried too much okay i'm just going to go like so and like so if it's not right we're going to fix it let me remove this on the side there put that on the side and then if i pull it should come right out so let me take, oh, before I pull though, I strongly recommend that you look how it goes. So it's gonna be a lot easier to figure that one before you get all the glue in the back. So let me just remove the big piece here. And maybe this one I'm gonna to have to tear up. Here we go. So now we're gonna see, could I be that easy? Well, this was pure luck, okay? I should maybe uh, go buy a lottery ticket, but see, boom. Those colors are pretty together. I think so. So now we're going to remove that. And just one. Okay, let's peel this in the back. And this is our new sheet. So it is in section of three. I'm going to put that on here. And if you hear snoring, that's my granite. We just came back from a walk. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here. This fall, I think it's the most beautiful fall since I moved here five years ago. I mean, this fall been amazing 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 oops i just steered that one let me you know what let me bring my poker here yeah kathleen is that crazy color for for me absolutely i was feeling bright colors today i almost went in the blue and i said you know what friends Think outside the box here. Use something else than blue because I always do blue, gray. I wouldn't have to um, peel it all up, but I like to peel because I know I get enough to glue that, right? So see, you just pass it under and then pull it up. I'm even going to remove that little piece. Okay, you just take your poker, pass it under, lift this up, snowing here. Oh no, it's, like I said, this fall, it's been the driest uh, November. Yesterday we got rain and I guess it was very needed. Okay, now I moved that all, all around and I thought, should I mark it? I should have maybe, but I think I'm going to get it. Okay, so now you just eyeball this. So you see, you still have the colors. Okay, here it's a little funky thing there. It's okay. I'm going to fix that in a jiffy here. Just lift this up here. Here we go. It's not quite the same, but it's good. Okay, now that it's pretty much on it, Flip it upside down and rub it. 
because if you rub the top of it, what's going to happen, it's a lot of time, if it's a petal not all the way in, you're going to pass your hand and rip it up. So when it's upside down, it is perfect. Now I need my trash. And here we go. Okay, now we're going to take the black. And a lot of time what I do, it's just start peeling it up and it come right off. The little tiny one, a lot of it, okay, that one came. See? Is that cool? So now it's just this part here. We're going to fix that. And it keep pretty much all the little piece. You don't have to work it much to keep the little piece out. So I get a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is put it on my phone. Um, is it going to take some of the sticky away? A little bit, but I don't press R. I just poke where it was staying that I want to remove it. So I just poke that on my phone and that's going to do the trick and then i just pass my hand on it toss that in the trash but most of it stay there with the sticky thing see boom how simple this was got two pieces right here i think this is going to be a very very much striking card we're going to see in a minute Okay, this I think go this way. So now I like to put one piece, one area there. I just do the outline pretty much. And then we're going to come back. That's where I had a funky one there. Gonna try to here we go and just go around so this is a big one I did that live before and I got a few video with this uh, I love it with the watercolor that was so 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 gorgeous um, and that was the piece that, remember the piece that uh, I was like, why this is such a big difference. We're going to come right here. That's where I cut it by hand. Well, maybe it's going to stay like that because I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so I know these color are not my colors, right? It's not often, but I have to say, this is wildfire. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. I think so. So now we're going to bring the paper cutter. Let me uh, remove some stuff so I'm not having a get hair in my mouth and my paper cutter. So okay, I will not cut this face up and the reason why you shouldn't uh, add that face up if the blade just hit a little bit of the die cut there it can just rip you know like crumple up all together so turn this upside down and you go at four inch but i should already have a mark at four inch because i had started cutting it to know exactly about how to set up my flower so i'm going to go ahead cut i'm just going to go back and forth to make sure all layers are cut and it is see boom and boom now i was planning to put that on white and white black and then white but you know what i think we're going with daffodil i just think daffodil is going to look lovely so i'm going to go at five and a half Score that at half and a half, five and a half, and then we're gonna go at four and a quarter and cut. Maybe I'm gonna go back with white, but right now, 
still have a little piece there. Okay, I got some white that I had cut out here. So let's see what you all think. Okay, white. And yellow. I know which one I like better. So you guys tell me which one you like better. While I cut our cherry cobbler. So let me move that aside so you can see. And I'm going to cut cherry cobbler also. I know which one I think that strike me the, the best. So I'm going to go at a four and a quarter. No, five and a half. Daffodil yellow and four and a quarter. Yeah, two set uh, daffodil, and you know what? I agree with you a hundred percent. Absolutely agree with that. So we're gonna need a white though for the center for in middle and then the red. Either one I think in the I'm gonna do one in the yellow and one in uh, the black. And this should go this way okay now let's finish this part let's see what we got uh, oh your granddaughter pick a uh, white I the color one are screaming at me today you know usually it's not I don't go in the bright colors but um, we got plenty of greeting in this but I think okay I'm just going to use this set I was thinking though it's a uh, the one in good morning uh, magnolia I absolutely love the thinking of you of that and I absolutely love the hello and thanks and I think thinking of you right now for just because cards sending card just because because you know we cannot see a lot of our friends and sending cards in the mail just because we don't have to wait for them to have a birthday I think it's very lovely and I'm gonna go ahead and um, stamp this with a cherry uh, no we're gonna go with daffodil delight and then I am bringing I didn't say it was a create on the fly did I I think we should reverse that back up the bus and put create on the fly because it's really create on the fly here because I just make it up as I go okay let me now we get the yellow there I'm taking the cherry cobbler ink and I just going to sponge the top, huff on it, and I'm going to put that right here. See that rainbow? Is that cool? You see it good, I think. So we get that beautiful rainbow that go with this. Now, if we do the same thing, though, we want to washy washy in between because that would be a sad if you take this in, uh, stamp and go right back to your daffodil, you still have a lot of yellow. Uh, that um, would not be nice. So I'm going with uh, the daffodil. And then I'm going with my cherry cobbler. And then this time we're going to do the bottom. I think the tops are going to be better though, but we're going to see the difference. Now you're going to huff on it. And this time I'm going to put it at the bottom. Et voila. Oh, they're both pretty. Oh, did I say I love this card? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. You could add more to it. You can add more little flowers and that. Personally, I say that's enough. It's uh, sometimes less, it's better. I get a cardstock here. 
for the inside. So we're going to stamp the inside. I could add ribbon. I could add whatever. I think that this is rich the way it is. And I'm going to keep it just the way it is. So remember, you can add the bundle right now at 10% discount. So it's just one little border of the black. So it's two for one, right? Because we did one and do two cards. Because it's just a tiny little border, I'm going to bring my Tombow glue. And the reason why I like to use Tombow glue, this is almost empty, it is because... Um, it give me the chance to move it around. The other one, it's more um, glue on instant. So this gives me the chance to move it around, especially when I just get one eighth of a border. So the white, you know, it's four by five and a quarter, but we start with eight, though. It's very important to start with eight and do all our flower. And then, so the black, it's uh, five and three eight by four and one eight. And then the card base, it's daffodil or cherry. It is four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. Now let's do this part here. Yeah, I think the da daffodil and the red, I think white didn't belong there. Because we, oh, if that happens, see where you cut, you get maybe a little bit of that fray there. Just trim that off. Just like your bang. Trim that off when it go in your face. You must think oh, it's time for you to trim your bangs, right? Here we go. And now we're going to decorate the inside. And it's going to be very simple on the inside. Always turn it in the back when you want to press it. Oh, I think that is just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, where? So, oh, no, I'm still going to use this. But now I'm going to show you how to rock and roll. So instead of using the sponge, so you know what? I use quite a bit of different technique in this card today. I, um, do you, did you color or is it card stop? Uh, I didn't color nothing, so we got a cherry cobbler cardstock, basic black, and this is stamped with daffodil and pumpkin pie. When it's done, you can watch the replay, because I think I share quite a bit of different uh, ways to do this here. Now, I'm using the one of the flower there, and I'm going in daffodil first, okay? Daffodil, because pumpkin pie, it's darker. I'm going to rock and roll it. Rock and roll, you really rock it and roll it. I'm going to stamp that there. So now if I want to go again, yes, then I have to wash it. Stamp in the yellow. Rock and roll in the pumpkin. And then wash it again. Yellow. Rock and roll in the pumpkin. And there. So now I get those three. This one, we're just going to do one of them. So yellow, rock and roll. Oops, that was too much rock and roll. You really want to keep it on the side. You're going to get your block dirty. That's okay. I'm going to put that right there. And now I'm going to use those little tiny dots. That's too, too many dots for that one. That's okay. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to go just with the pumpkin uh, pie. And then... Here. Here. And I get a little tiny flower here. So it's just finished something on the inside. Oh, that looked weird here. Here we go. Just say I got something that go with the inside that go with 
inside with the outside. Put it that way. Okay, now let me remove this. And we're going to finish assembling this. Here we go. So we're going to add glue in the back of this. Oops. And I just thought of something else here. One minute. We're going to bring that cherry cobbler inside. I just thought of something else. It's a stamp set in Good Morning uh, Magnolia that is awesome for the inside of cards. It's great for the outside too, but I really like it. I think, yes, the line here. So this, we're going to bring that with our cherry cobbler. So I'm going to bring my cherry cobbler and I'm going to put this at the top. Voila. And voila. So now I got a nice finish in my inside of the card that um, go very lovely with the outside. I got the flowers and I carry the red also from the outside. This one, it's red and red, that's fine. This one, red and yellow, but that is exactly like what we get on the front. The yellow and the red, that's the main color of the cards, right? So let me close this back, and voila. Um, I don't know where my bone folder, so it's going to be my nails to the rescue, but here we go. Is that cool? Two for one. Absolutely two for one. So let me go back here. So that is it for today. I hope that, uh, oops. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, tomorrow night it will not be no create on the fly because it's Thanksgiving. So I hope that um, you're going to gobble, gobble till you wobble. I know I will. Uh, it's just me and my husband, but I'm going to cook the whole nine yards. So um, we're going to have some leftover uh, for a few days. And then I like to do, uh, it's not chicken pot pie because it's turkey. So turkey pot pie with the leftover also. So that's about it. So thank you so much for joining me. Be safe out there if you're traveling or going out for Thanksgiving. Please, please, please wear that mask and be safe so till next time happy stamping don't forget the sale end tonight at 11:59 mountain time 10 percent on most of the product in the annual catalog bye, -bye.